Pine Martin were once widespread all across the UK. Uh, in fact, they were thought of as one of our most abundant uh, mustelids um, uh, uh, at one point in time. Uh, but their range declined initially from, from woodland clearance. They're a woodland species, so that, that reduced their range. And then what had quite a dramatic impact was the, the hunting of Pine Martin for their coats. Pine martins were still present in the UK up until uh, around 1915, although we don't know when the last pine martin was present in the New Forest, that, that hasn't been recorded, but we suspect they were here probably 100, 150 years ago. Um, so they, in, in, the, in the grand scheme of things, they haven't been gone all, all that long, really. But it wasn't until 2016 that we actually captured footage of a, of a pine martin, which was on a trail camera that was set up for recording bird activity. Pine martins used to inhabit the New Forest and I was ecstatic to hear that they'd returned back to their natural habitat um, and it's great to have them back because it stabilises the ecosystem even more, it allows more species to be connected to have the more connections you have the more stable the ecosystem is. Forestry England were interested in studying pine martins because they're such a rare mammal within the whole of the UK and England and we wanted to confirm that they'd returned to the new forest. They are very hard to spot. Uh, the, 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 the biggest challenge comes that they're, they're nocturnal, um, so they're only out uh, after dark. So, and they cover a very large area as well. So uh, one individual might be covering an area of many square kilometres. And so going out to look for them is literally a bit like a needle in a haystack. The huge benefit of, of using cameras is that um, you know, they, can, they can do a lot of the work for us because they can be out there recording. If we've got multiple cameras, they can cover multiple sites all at the same time. It's a good way of recording them going about their business in their own environment without any interference. They're not obvious, not only to people, but to the wildlife that they're monitoring. From the camera trap footage, we can see that they like to utilise pasture woodlands and ancient woodlands. This is likely because of the large old trees that are present, which normally have quite large cavities in them. And pine martins like to den in these cavities. And so it allows them to have a place to sleep at night and also for breeding in the springtime. Also, ancient woodlands are such a biodiverse ecosystem which allows those individuals to have such a good source of food as well as the area to establish their territories. We can see that they are successfully breeding in the forest and this is due to the fact that we've seen both kits playing on the camera traps and we've seen kits with adults roaming through the forests. We want to find more out about the pine martins so that we can better understand them as a species because if we don't know how they're utilising the landscape we won't be able to manage the woodlands to the best of our ability with the species in mind because they are a protected species. We haven't surveyed the whole of the forest by any means but we've surveyed enough sections to get a good feeling of their distribution so we've got a good confidence that they're widespread across the forest. So the next, the next stages is to understand about a little bit more about them as individuals. So there's two ways to go about that. One is looking at, at collecting DNA. That would look at not only the origins of, of the individuals, but also their, a bit about the, the compatibility of the population that we've got here. That's one step. And then further down the line, the next step is to look at how they're using the environment as a whole, because we know from studies elsewhere that they have quite big territories, but that's in areas where, you know, in, in fairly wild places like Scotland, we don't know really how big their territories are here. We are looking to restore the lost species within our landscape. Um, and we want our nation's forests to be the area where these species thrive and can expand. So we want to make places like here in the New Forest as biodiverse as possible to allow species like the pine martin to breed successfully and to restore its home range.